Uh, Bill Bellamy is going to be out here in just a minute, but first, have you folks noticed how many TV court shows there are these days? They're all over the place. Judge Judy, there's Judge Mills Lane, People's Court, Divorce Court. I mean, it's endless, and they, they do really well. So I thought I'd cash in on this craze with yet another episode of my very own TV court show, O'Brien's Court, okay? Now, first of all, thank you. First of all, I'm gonna put on, put on this robe right here that we, uh, we had from an old uh, Judge Ito sketch. Uh, and also, what I want, they always have on those shows a really high bench, it gives you authority. Can I have a bench? A make me a really high one, guys, okay? I want that authority that uh, will make me seem really cool when I'm passing judgment on people. That's great. Thank you. I can't believe you had that ready to go. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Joel, uh, you want to introduce me, please? From Studio 6A in Rockefeller Center, this is O'Brien's Court. O'Brien's Court is now in session. The Honorable Conan C. O'Brien presiding. Okay, everybody. Welcome to O'Brien's Court. Let's uh, do some justice. What's the first case? State your name, please. Tina Ryan. Ah, yes. Ms. Ryan from the graphics department. What is your problem? Uh, I don't know. They just told me to come in. Silence! <laughs> Ms. Ryan, three months ago at the late night Christmas party, the host of the show was having a pleasant conversation with you and your husband when suddenly you struck the host in the face. You had just pinched my ass. Absurd! <laughs> Liar! The host of Late Night doesn't do things like that. He does when he's falling down drunk. Silence! The court will not tolerate such slander. Go back to your graphics department, grab your coat, and hit the street. You're fired, lady. <laughs> name? Jeffrey from Hare. Do you have a last name, Jeffrey from Hare? I do, though I doubt you know it, even though we work together every day. Silence! <laughs> Is it true, Jeffrey, that you're responsible for maintaining the host's hair on a daily basis? Yes. All right, then how do you explain the appearance tonight? Look at this. Piled up way over here, the parts way over here. It looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous every night. Simon! I'll cut it all off if you want. I'll cut you off, off the show's payroll that is. Get out, you're fired. <laughs> Name? Jim Nassetta. And what do you do on the show, Jim Nassetta? I'm a uh, cameraman. Ah, I see. Last week you panned away from the host in the middle of an interview. Why? Well, Tom Hanks had a uh, cameo by the double doors and I needed to cover it. Oh, you had to cover it, huh? Tell me, Mr. Nassetta, is the name of the show Late Night with Conan O'Brien or Late Night with Tom Hanks? Would have been weird not to see him. Yeah, it'll be weird not to see you, but I'll get used to it because you're fired. Get out of here. Get the road. Come on. Uh, wait a second, get back here. I, let's, uh, let's finish out the sketch, all right? I'll fire you after the show, all right? I have one, one last case to decide. This gentleman knows nothing about this. Send him in right now. I realize we didn't do this at rehearsal. Name, please. <laughs> That's Bruce Brummage. I know who you are, Brummage. You handle the costumes here at Late Night. Isn't that true? <laughs> Is that true? True. That's uh, true, yes. And you also help out occasionally on Saturday Night Live. Is that not right? That's true. <laughs> In fact, this past Saturday, <laughs> let's see what happened. Uh, you helped the host of the show get into his beekeeper's outfit, didn't you? That's true. Would you please tell the court what you did to the hood just seconds before the ho host was supposed to go out and do the sketch? I zipped it shut. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat that just a little louder, Mr. Brummage, please. I zipped it shut. One more time, Brummage, for the whole world to hear. I zipped it shut. You did indeed. Liz, show exhibit A, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Brummage! <laughs> ah. I sentence you to work here for the rest of your days. Bruce Brummage, everybody. He's a good man. We'll take a break. Bill Bellamy when we get back. <laughs>